Uh, let's look at this here. Obviously, these models here, it's just a cylindrical map and planard from each side. So let's, again, isolate that. Assign a checker map. Now for this, we want to project from the side and keep the model intact. Keep the UVs nice and flat on each side. The area where we're going to have problems is going to be this unfolding and unwrapping the section around the middle, but we'll get to that shortly. So let's just go to create UVs playing our map. We want to project from the x-axis this time. So let's click there. And what we're going to do, just select those faces there. And we can either select them right to that edge or maybe just plate safe and have just one polygon board around there because if we're painting textures particularly if we want to paint wear and tear on these corners here we want the texture to overlap nicely so it might make sense to just keep this flat area which is running around the middle just one division in so let's create another projection now from the front like so so there we have the sides are done the front is done much like we did with our cylinder but obviously one side is mirrored and the back needs some work so let's open up our UV texture editor so first of all let's switch to UVs select this side Holding down control, which brings up this menu, and we're going to go to UV shell. And I'm just going to go to flip, and just flip those horizontally. And then we'll move them across, just so we can see, just to separate those out. And just as a test, before I do anything else, I'm just gonna see how these unfold. So let's just Unfold those horizontally first, vertically, and that seems to be working okay. So we don't, in this instance, we may not need to go in and do the baking a subdivision option and then transferring the UVs across. But let's see what it looks like on this bit here. So again, we need to dictate where our seams are going to be. Now we know down here and up here we have those cylinders which are acting as the knee and as the ankle so they would be a good place to hide the UVs so just double click that edge there and that's selected the top and the bottom for us so let's go into our UV editor and we can just deselect those edges because we don't want to cut down here but we do want to cut across there so we can now decide do we want this as one continuous strip or two strips and it might be easier to have them as two strips we can have these seams in here anyway so that doesn't really matter so polygon cut UV edges let's just separate these out just so we can see each UV shell so again let's try our unfold options so first we're going to try and unfold them horizontally and see how they look apply as you can see it's not really worked so we're going to have to go in and use our smooth mesh route so duplicate move that across turn off smooth mesh but then go into mesh smooth and it'll keep the same settings which we had previously now let's select these unfold vertically oh hang on I think I unfolded it the wrong way before. We want it to be vertical, not horizontal. Let's just give this a try. No, it's still not working properly, so let's undo that. Right, on our smoothed model, unfold vertically, click apply, and you see that has just worked very nicely from the outset. Move that up. Let's just check the orientation of those. So that needs to be rotated like so. Just make sure all the numbers are the right way around. 
Now obviously they're going to be they go underneath here so that doesn't really uh, matter. So those UVs are looking a lot nicer. Let's just try a horizontal just to see if we can spread it out a little bit more. And like we did before you could go in and align the top and the bottom if you want these to be nicely laid out. Vertical, apply, horizontal, apply and you can just continue on like that just tweaking these just a little bit adjusting the boundaries of each UV shell and then using the unfold constraints just to smooth those out and just to fix those up a bit but let's say those are done let's say we're happy with the UV layout now we can just go back like we did before select them both mesh go to transfer attributes and it'll keep the settings which we had previously so like that and sometimes as we can see here there are just slight issues everything else looks fine so it's worth going in and just double checking so let's just delete by type history let's delete that now this is probably because some edges aren't sewn together so let's just select those so UV edges and that's just cleaned that up now and one last thing to check with all of these models, let's press Ctrl and A, look in our smooth mesh options down here and in extra controls and just make sure map borders is set to smooth all. I'll just show you what this does. If I open up the UVs, smooth all. You see how we had that, if we have it set to smooth internal, you get these areas of where it's pinched here. So if I just, actually let's just show it in here, if I zoom up, scroll up, if I turn off smooth mesh preview, this is how the UVs are without the smooth mesh applied. And you can see here, this is where the border is. We turn on smooth mesh and it's keeping those vertices on that border. But we don't want that, we want them to smooth out as well. So just make sure for every model, smooth all, it's always set to smooth all. And there you go, it's just open those edges up.